Good morning. Let's do this. There we go. Welcome to Thursday's workout. Sorry, I was trying to I was trying to film in a different way today, but it didn't work. Okay, so we're going to start with just some easy twists. Today, you can reach, keep your belly button pulled in so you're twisting from your core. My camera looks really different today. I'm not sure what is happening, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Today, we're doing a Tabata workout. I love Tabata workouts. I try not to do, I, I could do Tabatas every week, but I don't want to bore you guys. We're going to go to marching. Um, Tabata is basically an interval workout, but what I love about it is the intervals are 20 seconds. So it's like you can go, you can push for 20 seconds and then you get a 10 second rest. And, and my clients and I always joke about how the 10 seconds goes by so quickly. And sometimes the 20 seconds can feel like forever, but so we're just marching, just warming up, just getting your body and mind ready for what we're about to do. We're going to do a combination today of cardio um, power, so like a plyometric sort of set, and then strength. Um, so less cardio than last week. Last week we really hammered it on the cardio. Um, that's the plan for today. Hope everybody is doing well. I am, after last week, it's funny how you, a switch just flips in you sometimes, right? And you're like, um, that's what happened, I feel like, last week for me during our class that we did. A, a switch flipped. And I'm determined, you know, I was getting dressed this morning for a workout and I'm going to be really honest and transparent. You can always, you can always trust me for that. Um, None of my workout clothes fit. And even if I can get them on, they're not, they're not looking very good right now. So I want to tell you, I want to commit to you guys that I am on this journey with you. And I am determined to make the next eight weeks. Um, exercise, fitness, and health is my priority in my life. Um, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to think about what I did in the past. I'm not going to think about the things that got me to this place. I'm just going to think about what can I do each day to get me to where I want to be. Um, and I'm going to focus on that eight weeks because I find sometimes, you know, there's pros and cons to putting a time goal on, on your kind of health and fitness goals because truly, especially for us women in our 40s plus, you know, changes don't really happen the way they used to or as quickly as they used to. And so sometimes it can be defeating if we say, you know, I wanna, I wanna be in this certain place in say four weeks or, or eight weeks or 12 weeks. However, if we don't put a timeline on it, what I find is time just sort of slips away and all of a sudden three months have gone by and you're like, yeah, I haven't done anything. I haven't made any efforts towards, okay, we're gonna start to increase the intensity a little bit if you're right. Um, right? Like, it's like time just disappears and you're like, wow, like, not only am I not closer to my goal, sometimes because we're so absent-minded about our efforts because we don't have kind of a deadline, we're further from our goal. Just how I felt last week when I did our workout, um, a few things just about that workout hit me. Um, and before I finish that thought, I want you guys to know that modify the workout as you need to. If you are just starting, if this is your first day working out, if um, you know, you're coming back from an injury, everything should be done at your pace. Having said that, if you can 
push yourself harder than me, you can. So the first warm-up round, we did low impact, low no impact. You can do the whole workout, low no impact, if that's what you need to do. Either today because you're tired, you're sore, you're just feeling run down, or if it's you're just starting again. I had a conversation um, with a client yesterday, a client and friend, and I said, gauge effort, don't compare. So don't compare yourself to other people and what they're doing. Don't compare yourself to me and what I'm doing in the video. Don't compare yourself to you when you were fitter. Just assess how do I feel right now. And you want to feel like you're comfortably hard. So comfortably hard meaning you're working, but it's not hatefully unpleasant, you know, torturously <laughs> horrific that to, when you go to work out again, you're like, yeah, I don't ever want to do that again, right? Don't push yourself that hard. That's going to take you backwards. You're better to do less um, and stick to it then try to rush and push the process. Pushing and forcing, no matter what we're doing in life, it never takes us forward. We want to be in flow. We want to allow, we want to let results come to us, right? That can pertain to any goal you have in life. It could be a business goal, it could be a financial, it could be a fitness goal, it could be a running goal. Let slash allow. So I don't remember what my thought was that I was talking about, which is fine. Um, okay, high intensity round. So again, if this is too much for you, do what I did in the last round or the first round. Just keep moving, just keep moving. And just do you. And so, Deadlines, that's what I was talking about. So I am committed. So this is a great little tip for you guys. Take like a, a deadline, say it's eight weeks. You know, maybe it's April or May, right? Spring, for those of us who live in colder climates. Maybe it's spring. It's January, it feels like it's a really long way away, but it's almost February. And when you break it down, February, March, April, that's three months. Give yourself three months. Imagine where you can be in three months if you stay consistent at those smaller efforts. But imagine where you'll be in three months if you wait another month to start, right? And then you're all of a sudden, you're like, holy crap, it's almost spring. Uh, where do I even start, right? So just start small, but what I sort of realized myself with my own goals is, yeah, in seven weeks, I want to see some changes and results. So I'm going to make a calendar because I love trackers. And if you want the calendar, type calendar in the comments during the break. Um, and I'm going to take off because then I can see time going by versus no calendar, no tracker. There's no visibility of time slipping away from us, right? And I put a great post or a great um, quote in my story. Time is like the one thing we have no way of getting back. Like, it doesn't matter how much money you have, you have no power over time. Every day matters. And if you treat every day like an opportunity to just be 1% better than you were yesterday. You don't need to, you know, cut out all the carbs, cut out all the sugar, cut out all the wine, cut out all the things. You don't need to exercise for two hours a day. To get where you want to be, you just need to be 1% better each day. Just little efforts. Those 
little efforts that are easy to do <coughs> and easy to not do, they compound over time. But when, when we don't do them, they also compound over time. All right, I think that might be Lisa, who's joining me this morning. Oh, I'm so proud of you, girl, for being here. Okay. Let your heart rate come down, grab a drink. But I'm going to commit publicly, because public commitment is great accountability. I'm plugging in with both, I'm jumping in with both feet for the next seven to eight weeks. I have a thing in seven to eight weeks, and so there's a reason why seven to eight weeks is my timeline, but I don't know why my camera looks so bad today. Anyway, say hi if you're on live with me. I know you're on, Lisa. Yay, proud of you. Okay, so we're starting with twelve. So we're starting with cardio. We're gonna do two rounds of cardio and cardio core, and then we're gonna go to strength training. Okay, so let's start <coughs> with jacks with a toe or with a floor touch. So jacks, squats, touching the floor. Okay, try to drop the butt down, not bending. If you need to do low impact, you can totally do low impact. Okay, always do. What you need to do so that you're working a little bit, you have the effort. Remember, gauge by effort, not by performance. We're going to burpees next. Sorry, not sorry. Just good old regular burpees. I was going to put fancy burpees in, but. And again, low impact burpees look like this. We're gonna be doing four rounds of each. And this is round one, so three more to go. We're driving the heart rate up for the first four minutes. Well, more than that, but, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna, I'm going to share with you guys who do this workout, the super challenge that I'm gonna offer up for the Get Strong community. I have a fun 2021 super challenge for you. Um, there's going to be a new challenge every single month in this group. Okay, they're all gonna be small, doable, easy to do, easy to not do, Okay, so challenge number one every month will be the monthly challenge. We're halfway through that set. The super challenge is for you to do every single month stacking the challenges. Okay, so challenge number one is to plug in and do the monthly challenge. Challenge number two is to do all 12 months of the monthly challenges. Challenge number three, the super challenge, is to stack. So basically you're gonna do January core challenge. Next month, you're gonna add the February challenge and continue. So you're gonna do 365 days of 100 core. It's called a super challenge for a reason because it's super sized and it's not going to be easy and if you haven't completed all of your days in January that's okay just jump in it's designed to push you um, keep you focused keep you plugged into small daily actions if you think about the core challenge we're doing right now it takes, there's ways that you can do 100 reps of core in probably about a minute. So if you can't find a minute to do something for yourself, we need to talk. Okay, because every day that I've not wanted to do the core challenge, because trust me, I am no different 
than you guys. I have no more motivation on my down days than you do. I just know it's going to take me like two minutes. So I'm just going to do it. And the thing is, when you compound enough days together that you've done something, you're not going to quit on yourself. So we're doing a one minute rest here. Grab a drink. Um, and then we're going into round two. Round two is going to be more power based. Okay, and again, you can always take the power and the jumping and the impact out. See, I'll be honest, and I, I said this in one of my lives this week, like I can't stand doing these videos and looking at myself right now. Like it's hard, because it's not what I want to look like, you know? I'm just kind of fussing with my shirt, fussing with my pants. It's okay, I'm not going to beat myself up about it, but I am going to make changes, and I'm going to pledge to my community here <laughs> That by spring I can wear my fitness clothes again and not be spilling out of them everywhere. All right. Activity completed. Just to clarify, I'm not looking for. Okay, we're doing frog jumps to start. You guys, I hate frog jumps. I really hate frog jumps, but we're doing them. And if you if you can't do the jumps, you just step back and forth like this. Okay. going to do also something I hate lunge jumps I don't, know I, I don't even know if I can do them right now okay now if you can't do lunge jumps just step back in, step into lunges just do lunges okay you want to keep your torso upright you don't want to lean forward Woo! these are gonna burn it's true and they're gonna kill me because I hate them. That's one round down, three to go. This is power. This is gonna burn. Okay? Take rests as you need. Go to low impact if you need. Just don't quit on me. Okay? I'm not gonna quit on you. I might slow down. Whew. I might whimper, but I'm not going to quit, okay? You're not going to quit either. All right, lunge jumps. Okay, try to keep your torso up. Count how many you can do in a row. Go to lunges if you need to. See how sad this is, you guys. Alicia, if you're watching right now, I expect you to complete all of these. <laughs> and I'm coming for you, girl. Alicia's a friend of my daughter's that does my workouts. If you need or want more workouts from me, YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting these up on the YouTube channel. I have a bunch from the summer that I did with my kids. Oh, Lord. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on. One more of each. See, I'm here with you. I'm doing this with you. You're doing this with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be posting this one to YouTube. Because I have clients that aren't on Facebook. Those of you who are runners, 
These are so good for runners. My running coaching clients I used to always incorporate these in specifically for them. Three seconds, let's go. Two, one. Okay. High five, you got through that. Hopefully better than I did. Okay, next one, we're going into strength. If you have a weight and you want to use it, grab it, because we're gonna do some leg work. We're gonna do some squats. You don't have to. And especially if you're new, <coughs> just returning to uh, working out, just do body weight. Those first two sets were designed to fatigue your legs a little bit. So your legs should be a bit tired going into the strength training round. <coughs> grab a drink, grabbing my drink. I want. I want you to put in the, in the comments after your deadline. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too far behind you, Lisa. Okay, I want you to put, when you're done the workout, I want you to put, we're going into squats. I want you to put your deadline. So meaning, let's not think of it as a deadline. Let's think of it as a commitment, right? How long are you committed with me? Help me out, be my accountability, that's what this group is for. Keep me, keep me plugged in, you guys. Let's keep each other accountable. I'm doing eight weeks, eight weeks. My stomach just fluttered saying that. Okay, we're gonna do sumo. So, knees point out over the feet. Okay, so you wanna feel your butt and inner thighs a little bit more. Make sure you're pressing your knees back. Okay. Oh dear. Low battery, that's not good. Okay, that's okay. Okay, squats. I hopefully I don't flake out on you guys. We have one more round plus core after this. So this is my third day in a row of working out. I have actually set myself up with a little accountability partner. Sumo squats next. Can someone bring me a cord? It's because I didn't charge my phone last night. Okay, knees go out. So, if this is like a plie squat, calling it sumo, but you want to really press the knees back. I'm going to do a couple extra because I started late. Okay. So when we're forward, oh, thank you, my friend. So squatting. So my accountability partner right there. Plug this in so I don't. Okay, so these ones, your, your toes are pointed slightly out, and your knees, you want to track your knees out over your feet, okay? These ones, your feet are pointed out like a plie, like a ballerina, okay? And you want to still always drive your knees out over the toes, okay? So, you're using your inner thighs to press those knees back towards the back of the room. And you're squeezing your glutes and you're pulling your belly button in. And I'm gonna do my last set of squats here because I missed them. You guys are resting. Okay. Oh, I think we have one more round. I'm sorry. So keep going. Squats. Dropping that butt down. All right, 10 second rest. Last set of sumos. Okay, 
Okay, knees go out, dropping that butt down, keeping your chest open. Almost there, you guys. A couple more. Good job. I'm going to turn this heater off because I'm sweating and I just realized you can probably hear it. Grab a drink. We're going into our last to batter round. And then we're going to have a bonus round at the end that's we're going to do a little bit of extra core. There we go. Okay. I'm going to grab that. body in this next one. Um, so we're going to be doing some plank stuff. So we're going to do high to low plank. If it's too hard for you, if it's hard on your wrists, you know, if you can't do it quite yet, if you're not strong enough, just hold low plank or high plank, whichever you prefer. Okay, ready? Okay, so high to low. So we're high, we're going down to low. Pressing back up, alternating directions. Again, if this is your first workout back, Lisa, and you want to just hold plank, absolutely. The goal isn't to crush yourself, the goal is to just do something. Okay? Next one's going to be plank, shoulder taps, okay? Shoulder tap. Notice my hips are not moving, okay? So you want to keep your body stable. I'm not rocking back and forth. One of the tricks is wide feet will give you more stability, but the key with this is you have to shift your weight from your core. Okay, so this is working our upper body as well as our core because we're in kind of a plank position for so long. Make sure your shoulder blades are squeezed, right? So you always want to picture a pencil in your in the crease down the middle of your back that you're holding there. That's going to protect your shoulders. Alternating 
glutes. Controlling that leg, lifting it, and then controlling it when you bring it down too. Almost there, three seconds. Woo! Way to go. All right, we're on, we're gonna take a break. Then we're gonna finish with core. Who's with me still? Oh, Lisa's still with me. Oh my gosh, look at me, hey. Okay, I'm gonna grab a drink. I want you to congratulate yourself for being here today, doing this. What I want to share with you is, here's the trick. So if we're, we're going to set a timeline, a goal, you know, and, and the thing is when we're, look, we're talking seven to eight weeks, eight weeks, six weeks, whatever you want to commit to, four weeks, it's short. It's not as daunting, right? So for seven, eight weeks, can you stay committed? to making your health, your fitness, your body, your well-being, top one of your top priorities, just for this, the next seven to eight weeks. And if it is, you wanna exercise. Okay, so we're gonna go to core. Um, okay, we're gonna be on our back because we just did a set on our, so. We're gonna start with crunch extension so I can show you something new, okay? So crunch, extend. So a way to make this harder is to put a weight on your feet. Put a ball on your um, feet, which is what I did last night. I should feel it today. So next up we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do side plank. So what I want to share with you is if you are in, if you are going to take the challenge and join me, keep me accountable, I will keep you accountable. For a short term, we're going to set a deadline or a goal or like a commitment, right? A commit. I'm going to commit to this for X number. I want you to drop in the chat the date that you're going to commit to doing it until, okay? And what you want to do this is something I coach in my coaching program. You want to exercise something called one of your higher faculties, right? We have six higher faculties that makes us different from every other creature on the planet. Those faculties are imagination, will, reason, memory, um, perception, and I'm missing one. But the one that's important right now, so we're gonna do side plank the other side. The one that's important for you right now is will. And what will is, is our ability to focus on something, um, concentrate on something, to the exclusion of all other thoughts and ideas. So what I want you to think about for the next, however long you're gonna to commit to, to doing this with me for, you're gonna think about your goal, your health and fitness and well-being goal, right? So everything you do all day long, that should be at the forefront of your mind, right? That is your will focusing on what it is that you want, what is most important to you right now, and that's gonna help you move into the actions that you need to take, things like working out, things like doing extra walks, things like making the right food choices, drinking more water. Um, if you're struggling with food, I have a free mini meal guide on my website. You can go download it. Um, it's a very basic, simple meal suggestions and recommendations because I don't like to cook. <laughs> Um, let's do this together. Exercise your will that this is the most important thing. You're going to exclude other ideas that tell you, no, it's not. You can't do it. You'll never commit for that long. 
You know what to do. You never do it. You're going to exclude all those thoughts and ideas, and you're going to just focus on, I'm committing to this thing for this long. I'm just going to do my best. So I'm really preachy today. It's because I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> Last one. I think, yep, that was it. Way to go. So don't forget to drop in the comments if you're joining me. If you need help with meals, if you want my free meal guide, just write meal guide in the comments and I will send you my website. You can go download it. Um, and let me know what you think about the super, the super challenge for 2021. <laughs> See you guys next week.